Hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry for being rubbish this week and not actually doing a video until Thursday. I know, shame on me. I've just been in one of them moods. I can't really do anything. I don't know what I should be doing and I'm not doing it anyway. It's alright though, it's all good, it's okay. I'm forgiving myself. As long as you can forgive me. I've been busy, been a busy bee. Just been sat on my bum. Um, I've also not really known what to talk about. There's lots of things I could talk about. Go on. No, oh, kiddly winks. There's like hundreds of them. Hundreds. <laughs> Parents are rolling their eyes as well. Well, two women are rolling their eyes. I don't even know if they're related. I'm done. One shouldn't assume. One shouldn't assume their parentage. <sighs> Dear. So yeah, what can I talk about? These blinking running tubes. I know, it's become a bit of a recurring theme, hasn't it? I should probably tell you that, the, the full story. Just a recap. Running shoe recap. January, I decided I wanted to do running. I wanted to do this half marathon. Right. So I thought, right, okay. First things first. <laughs> I need to get some running shoes. So... I ordered some online. I did a lot of research, went to Sports Direct and TK Maxx, couldn't find any, ordered some online. They arrived and they were too small because I'd read up that they might be too small so I'd messaged the company and said, I think these might be too small, have you got any there in a bigger size? And they didn't reply so I ended up with these two small running shoes. Um, I then didn't know what to do I thought oh, I just want some running shoes so I went and tried some on and Impulse bought some for 45 quid only I then googled and found that I could get them on Amazon and Sports Shoes Direct for cheap for about 27 quid 28 quid now sportsshoes.com or whatever it is um, I had a voucher code for that to get 10% off and free shipping which brought it to 24 quid so I thought, stuff it, I'm going to order them. In the meantime, they'd sent me a review. Are you keeping up with this? They'd sent me a review feedback form thing from the previous pair. And I, I fed back that I wasn't very pleased with the customer service because now I've got to pay to return some shoes that were too small. They then said, well, we'll send you a free Hermes um, a label to send them back. Um, so that's fine. So I got that, took that to the dry cleaners. The old, the, those shoes went back. I went back to the shop after much deliberation and feeling guilty about buying some shoes and then taking them back to the shop just because I found them cheaper elsewhere. Um, but they didn't ask any questions, gave them my money back and it was all fine. I felt like a hero. Right. So, yeah, I'm functioning, things are moving, everything's going in the right direction. I've got my running shoes on the way. Everything is gravy. Okay. Until Hermes. Right, okay, <laughs> they, um, so I ordered these trainers over a week ago. I then get, um, uh, I get little updates on like a tracking thing. So I had an update saying they were going to be delivered between 12 and 2 on Wednesday. So I said, Josh, Josh, need to be around, they're going to be delivered between 12 and 2 on Wednesday. I then get a message saying, delivery attempt failed, wait 24 hours. Oh, Josh, what have you done? And he said he was around. Dogged in park, no card through. There have been. Okay, fair enough. The next day, it said between 12 and 4. And I'm like, Josh, just sit downstairs, right? Just sit in the doorway. Just sit on the road outside. I don't want to miss these, right? I want to do a park run on Saturday. You need to get these trainers, right? So then, message comes through. Delivery attempted. Um, wait 24 hours. That, then I started getting cross, right? So then, Friday, I thought, well, that's fine, they'll deliver them on Friday. Now, I think it was Friday, where I woke up and it had been snowing. It's lovely. Um, and they said, order withheld due to bad weather. That was ridiculous. I drove to work, right? These trainers, the, the sportsshoes.com is in Shipley. It's 10 miles away. 
I had colleagues in Shipley that made it to work. No, no, not acceptable. So anyway, I thought, wait till Monday, maybe they'll try and deliver on. Well, I thought they might try and deliver on Saturday. It hasn't been updated, it still says bad weather. So then Monday I messaged, um, well, another problem was, I messaged Sports Shoes, but my email, I've, I'm on, on my katehargrave.com email address, I've got, it's a webmail thing. And I've had it for years, and I don't even use the website or anything anymore, but I've got the email address, and so I keep the domain, I keep the hosting and stuff, and it's all proper, like, developer back-end stuff, because I used to make a lot of websites. So, and my web mail stopped working. So that wasn't working for, until yesterday, really working. Yesterday, I, I, but the thing was, because it wasn't working, um, I couldn't get a message back from sportshoes.com to find out what was happening with my shoes. So I thought, right, okay, I need to log into my web panel on DreamHost to get into my <laughs> to get into my emails. Only I'd forgotten the password for my web panel. So the <laughs> the password reset would have been sent to my email, which I couldn't get into. So I had a bit of back and forth with DreamHost, it was very helpful as always, and they explained finally that I needed to get my email, I'd got like 10 gig of worth of old messages in my email, I thought they'd been just disappearing, but I haven't, they've been going into this folder called old messages which wasn't searchable, so there's no point in being in there anyway. Um, so they said, yeah, you need to set it up on a real mail client, I've not done that for years, I'm like, oh god. Anyway, I managed to set it up on my Gmail, so that's really handy. That's really handy. So I'm actually getting emails now that feel manageable rather than having to log into this webmail thing that often doesn't work. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Maybe this happened just so I could get that sorted. Who knows? Anyway, so sportsshoes.com. I I'd get, I'd get in. And they've messaged with them. Um, is he going to cross over? He can if he wants. Oh, he's going that way. Not indicating. Cheers, dude. But, um, yeah. So they messaged back and said, oh, we've spoken to Hermes. Seems that there was a little bit of confusion about your address. Can you explain your address, please? Can you, can you let me know your address? So I went, okay. It's number 13, but it's between 9 and 11. And it's a back-to-back, -back, so all the other doors are back doors, but mine's actually a front door. It can cause some confusion. Here's my son's phone number. If he's outside and he's lost, just give him a ring and he'll pop out. It's fine. Yeah, you know, I've, rather than, I, I, I could pick this up myself. That's the thing. I can actually pick this up myself at this point. They replied back two days later. Um, they came in two days later. I'm exaggerating. Yesterday, maybe. They replied back to say, we have, um, we've marked this parcel as lost. Okay, that's a curveball. We've marked this parcel as lost. When it arrives back to us, we'll be able to process, um, an alternative, I will be able to like give you a replacement. Uh, no, I want to go to part run. I ordered that. Uh, you're welcome. I am a businessman. I will walk my child across the road without any concern for any cars. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I want, I want my shoes. I want to do park run on Saturday. I, I so I email them back. Say no. I just I can come and pick them up from Shipley. I can pick them up from Hermes Depot. You know, I, I can do all the work for you. I just need these shoes by Saturday. Stop being a donkey and get me my running shoes. This feels like the first video that I've done where I've actually, it's just been a rant. <laughs> I'm not a moany person, but I think this has done me good actually. It has done me good because normally, I'm just kind of thinking, okay, measured, perspective. What have I learned about these things? Universe, blah, 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 law of attraction. Hmm, think compassion and all this. No, it's like, sportshoes.com and Hermes. <laughs> need their heads banging together. I need my shoes, sort it out, stop being a moose. Right, there you go. And freeze. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna start doing. Maybe I should do two videos a week. I should do like, a proper calm rational kind of enlightenment one and another just a bog standard rant you know like peter griffin in family there you know what's really ground my gears this week do you know what's really ground my gears bloody hermes 
I must admit that oh hello pigeon there's a beautiful pigeon it's just it looks like a young one it's just sat on this fence it's absolutely gorgeous I love pigeon right anyway um yeah me and me and Josh um kind of call Hermes herpes which yeah it's become a thing they they aren't renowned for their um for their reliability and customer service but they should they should be they, they've got one job you've got one job Hermes you're named after some kind of Greek god of delivering stuff it's a bold claim live up to it yeah get me my running shoes and yeah that'll be the end of it I just I despair I've got this Thursday now I want to do my first park run on Saturday and I'm going to be doing it in my Converse my Doc Martins at this rate. Anyway, one has arrived and it's 8.55, which kind of rhymes. It's a good job it was that time. I'm going to go to the Workington and I'm hoping you have a good day and I'll try and do tea next week. Can't promise anything though, but you know, I do, I do. So I'll see if I can do a rant and a normal one. Maybe this will keep me balanced, bring balance to the force. Anyway, peace out. I'm going to go.